my God. Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh my God, I can't get up oh the hill. Oh my God. I can't get up the hill. Welcome to the beach, everyone. It is time for your next challenge. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Southern California, but I can only imagine that before coming to The Biggest Loser, I'm sure you didn't all love coming to the beach. But our partners at Planet Fitness know exactly how you feel. They have a judgment-free zone philosophy, which means members can get in shape and have fun in a welcoming environment. Membership is just 10 bucks a month, but today they are giving one of you something worth way more than that. The winner gets $25,000 worth of gym equipment wow. that will help you oh. take off the weight once you go home. Oh God. That's a big deal. Jay, what would it mean to you to have home equipment? I've got the spot in the house picked out. You know, it's, <laughs> I've got a perfect place to put it. Now I just got to figure out how to win it. My wife is on a journey at home as well, and for us to have that equipment in our home and be able to work out anytime we want would mean the world to me and my family. So here's how today's challenge is going to work. We are standing here on a hill filled with kettlebells. Your job is to grab a kettlebell, bring it up the hill, put it on your post. First person to get 10 kettlebells to the top wins. And while there are no shortcuts at The Biggest Loser, there is one for today's challenge. Hidden somewhere on this field is a golden kettlebell, which is worth five. Oh, wow. So if you get it, bring it to the top, and you're halfway there. There is an incredible reason, as you clearly all know, for coming in first, but there is also a good reason not to be last, because the player who comes in last will have a one pound disadvantage at the weigh-in this week. I'm a little concerned about the one pound disadvantage, because the week I went home, our team only lost by one pound. So if we hadn't lost that one pound, I would have been still in the game. All right, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Let's get started. All right, there's a lot worth playing for today. So now you guys are going to fight for this to avoid a one pound disadvantage on the scale. On your mark, get set, go! If I had to guess who has the advantage in this challenge, it's the people who have already lost a significant amount of weight that are really close to their goal weight, like Jay and Rachel. They're going to be really quick up and down the hill. I'm the biggest guy here. I'm the oldest guy here. So for me, it's going to be a challenge. And I just got to make sure that I stay out of the bottom one way or the other. You need 10 kettlebells to win. Jay checking a few out. Everyone's looking around. We've got one golden kettlebell in there. If you find it, you're halfway there. My plan going up the hill is just to kind of knock them over out of the sand and see if I happen to see some gold on them. And if I do, I'm going to grab it. But if I don't, I'm just going to bust my butt to get to the top of this hill first. Because if I can get up there first, I'm going to use the top layer of kettlebells. You know, I don't have to run as far that way. Jay's the first one to the top of the hill. Rachel right behind him. Jay grabs the kettlebell. He's going to be the first one. First one on the board. Jay with 